Welcome to the show must go on. Welcome to the show must go on. Welcome to the show must go on. Yeah, I'm your host, Mallory Potters. Shh. I'm just kidding. Tell everybody. This is the time where I think my videos are going to take a bit of a shift in two ways. One, I'm going to take time for a little self-care because my pandemic look has just not been okay. I go in my closet and I'm like, I don't have pandemic attire. Like, what is pandemic attire? It is not me. So I'm going to try to go back to my basic standards because I have let all my standards go. Uh, and, and I realized that, no, I need to, <laughs> I need to take care of myself. Uh, not just like, like going out for runs and stuff, but like wash my hair. <laughs> Wear something other than jogging pants. We're changing the shift here. And I'm also going to be working on uh, some new series ideas about um, self-isolation and we'll see I don't know if it's gonna work but it's in if they're new I haven't I need to nurture these ideas and uh, I'll be dabbling on all three walls so uh, I don't know if my shows are gonna be about one painting start to finish I think I'm just going to uh, maybe tune in for a few minutes a day and uh, maybe do like just double from wall to wall, maybe a different wall every day. And we'll see how that comes together in the end. <clears throat> so right now I've got a 48 by 60 up and I really have no clue what I'm doing. Uh, and that's all right, I don't need to know. This is an abstraction. So I just keep pushing paint around and solving design problems and referring back to my subject as I get stumped. So the idea here being that I'm not dependent on this like I have been for the last couple of demos where they were more like studies and studies are great because it's sort of like when you, when you, uh, when you paint a nude. Sorry, I just got a text from my dad. Who are you talking about coming out here? And if they do, they'll be coming in the winter. I'm gonna just use this room and I'm gonna turn the rest of my studio into like a small apartment for them because if they do come out here, even if they plan to come for three weeks and it hits the fan and then they need to, like we need to go into lockdown, I need to be prepared for them to stay here for, for months, which would be scary for the world, but lucky for me because they live in Ottawa. Yeah, at the risk of tearing up, it's been hard. Okay, bye. Okay, hey again. I didn't have my fuzzy little microphone plugged in last time, so there might have been some weird noise. <clears throat> okay, so I'm just taking this one apart. I'm working on it a little bit here and there as I'm working on a few of them at once. This is just intuitive. And it's intuitive based on 15 years of studying design and stuff. So I'm just trusting my marks. I'm really uh, looking for an abstracted piece here. I don't want to uh, do a little, a literal interpretation of this. So, I construct, 
and deconstruct and I construct. <clears throat> now I wasn't gonna I wasn't necessarily gonna do videos of this part of the process because um like honestly I just finished paying off I'm 45 and I just finished paying off my student loan like two years ago. So I paid quite a bit of money for my education. Um, not to say that it did anything for me, but uh, let's say it did. Um, and that it gave me a foundation to explore the ideas that I have now. And the ideas that I have now have <clears throat> made me the artist who I am now and the artist who I'm going to be. The more I practice my ideas and nurture my ideas, it's like my art becomes like my own signature. And because I am motivated by the automatistes, which means that everybody has their own unique mark and you need to discover what that mark is and then figure out how to apply it and make it shine. So uh, I will do workshops at one point. The sun's in grade one and it's a world pandemic. So I can't promise anytime soon. I get a lot of inquiries about that, but I can honestly say I'm not doing it till there's a vaccine. So. We're probably looking at a year or two until I get my feet back on the ground. So in the meantime, I don't mind sharing some stuff with you. I'm gonna keep some stuff private. ask me how long it takes for me to make a painting, a painting, art, creation, yeah, 45 years, it took me 45 years, <laughs> uh, no seriously sometimes you get lucky and they happen really fast and sometimes um, it's, you can't gauge that, it just, it's a process. I don't look at it as a painting. I look at it as a series. So this one's actually coming along nicely. Uh, but I'm working on four at the same time. So this segment, that no, this episode, this segment is I think day three or four of this slow build. And I do that because I'm working abstractly. Um, I'm looking to create something that hopefully the world has never seen before. So I am leaving expectations at the door. And allowing myself to make mistakes and be vulnerable and destroy and rebuild and destroy and rebuild. And then hopefully something will evolve from basically experimentation, but trying to stay on track with my concepts. So I'm not necessarily going to share what my concepts are. You can keep them like super, super simple. It, it, it's usually best to keep them simple and uh, yeah, just experiment with different ways of putting paint on and taking paint off and putting paint on and taking paint off. So I decided to um, get a smaller long brush. Well, big brush on this side, small one on this side. I'm actually running out of my pastels for little marks. And I do like, 
crazy little marks. But that's my mark. So this is something that I discovered accidentally because I allowed myself to experiment. And I like what it does. It's almost not long enough, this brush. Sun's out today. Somebody ate my goddamn zucchini. What kind of animal would chomp a two inch zucchini three quarters of the way down? That's not a slug. I don't know what that is, but it's a war. Although I did just find out how to deal with the slugs and I'm gonna do that on my break. Apparently they really like beer. So if you put a little bowl of beer in your lettuce garden, they'll go to the beer and drink themselves stupid and pass out in the beer bowl and then your lettuce is saved. Ah, and then you get to have the rest of the beer. Like not the beer where the slugs are in, but you know, the other half that's still in the bottle. Tip of the day. See you soon. Nanu Nanu. Uh, hey guys. Welcome to the show must go on. <laughs> yeah, it's Saturday. I'm trying to find the schedule. So I seem to be able to work on Tuesdays, Fridays, Saturdays and Sundays. It seems to be going pretty well. And then I can squeeze in like an hour or two here and there also. <sighs> so last night we went to the beer farmers and the venue had their new fancy schmancy food truck there. And we had like ribs and chicken and tofu and it was so crazy. It was like, they're really well set up because it's a farm. So they've got a lot of space where people can have their little mini congregations with your little mini bubbles and then you're far, like really far from everybody else more than the requirements um but it was like and it's all outside but it was like i don't know i was like a deer caught in headlights i'm like oh my god look at all the people eating food and drinking beer this is so weird <laughs> yeah anyhow it was really good <laughs> and weird so <laughs> oh. peony season is going pretty well I'm pretty happy with these um, these really abstract starts and they're like there's a lot of nice depth and so we'll see what happens here I have no idea but I can see there's something starting 
I mean, even this guy here, maybe I can slide that over. You know, what I love about a series is, man, hang on. You know, this was one of the first ones, maybe the second one. And it, yeah, I was like, okay, I don't know what else to do. So I'm just gonna stop and put it aside because uh, what happens is that when you have about like five or six of them together, they really start to tell a story. And it's so fun because it's, it's actually rewarding. That's what it is because that takes patience. <laughs> and that takes, oh, Sarah, I didn't make sure if my caramel was clean. Okay, I guess my camera's clean. Sorry, Sarah, my wonderful producer who is so patient, patient, patient with Mrs. Potty Mouth here. Um, anyhow, what I was saying was that, yeah, it, uh, it takes, how can I explain it? So, you know, when you're, when you paint a painting and you don't know if it's good or not and then you keep working it and working it and then you basically <laughs> killed anything that was good about it yeah well, i'm not tr i'm trying not to do that anymore uh what i'm trying to do is not have that conversation with myself because like frankly that's not healthy so I don't know who the angel and the devils are. Like, I don't know who's on what shoulder, but just turf that out. Not your friend, no. Um, and uh, I get it. I mean, I've been doing this for a long time and I've cried a thousand rivers too. And um, yeah, me reading uh, text messages or comments, me looking at you, me looking at my work. I think we're getting the hang of this, right? Yeah. So, just slow down, work on a few at once. Don't think that because you don't have a finished painting by the end of the day that you suck. <laughs> just understand that, especially you if you are working on a few at the same time, which I highly recommend, and if you're not doing it, then try it. What do you have to lose? Um, and just it's a slow build, you know? We're just plugging away. I'll pull out the other one too, so. Because I'm pretty happy with, with this. So for me, I'm painting the not so still life because I don't think that there's anything still about life. But I'm really happy with how this one's turned out. Yeah, and then I've, I've got the uh, other 36 by, no sorry, 48 by 60 in my, my dining room. And uh, yeah. You know, even if you're not sure if they're done, when you have them all together and you kind of like clean up your studio, like do as I say, not as I do. Um, and then you're like, you look at, okay, you're, you, your story. Sorry about that. Got cut off. I'm gonna do a little bit of do 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 and um, just a short little segment. There's some nice depth going on in this 48 by 60. Oh, oh. Man, too many ribs last night. Uh, okay.
What is this? Oh, burnt orange. Hello. Hello, burnt orange, my old friend. Okay, I'm just going to get a dark something or other going here. Green. I think this is a this is a mission for the yellow bag. My subject there. So I do like the the composition so far. Um, uh, I thought I heard this on the light on top. And keep it light down there. Nice, what I like to call push and pull or in and out. Um, there is some good foliage and stuff going on in the actual subject that I do like. I seem to like to add reds. Hey, knock it off up there! So, let me think. You, you're also about grow. But you are also about some kind of soft, soft togetherness with your lines and Uh -huh. I think I would like to see some warm tones come in a little bit and get this orange out. Rarely do I just grab an orange. I do think that I 
mix your own colors. But I will take exception to anything with the word cadmium behind it. Because those are colors found in nature. Do you see how that just warmed up? Yeah. Soft. Soft. This green stuck to the table. But Let that breathe. I'm going to sit and contemplate the color of the sky. No, I'm just kidding. I just need to. This is serious business now, folks. Yeah, I'm actually working on my for real series. It's not just like a paint demo. This is my process. So. I need to park it there for a while and think before I do anything else. See you soon. <laughs>